In this Webflow tutorial, I'll teach you a free way to upload files on your Webflow forms. Take a look at this example website, whistlerstreet.com.au slash tattoo inquiry. If you want to upload some photos, you can hit this nice blue button that says choose files. You'll then open up a really nice interface, an upload care interface, as you can see, powered by upload care or mobile responsive. And even gives you crazy options like taking a photo using your camera, a link, a Facebook photo, Google Drive, etc. But here, you can go ahead and just drag in your images. Let's just say, for example, these three images. It then loads this interface and you can go ahead and just delete the ones that you don't want to upload anymore. And you can go ahead and hit add. And then it would say you have uploaded two files. The one that we'll be doing won't exactly look like this, but nevertheless, I'll show you how it's done. Let's go ahead and just jump into the pricing. So in Webflow, you can actually do this natively if you have a business plan, which is quite a steep increase. So a CMS is already $23 a month, a basic is 14. And if you have a basic site and you just want this file upload functionality, it's gonna be a very steep jump in the price. As you can see right here, it says form file upload. An example of what that looks like is this website right here, thesba.com.au slash sponsorship dash inquiry. This is actually a business plan this specific input upload file is the native Webflow form file. So if you actually click into it, you can only upload one image at a time and that's it. So if you wanna upload multiple images, it doesn't allow you to do that. You'd have to create multiple choose files button. So that's pretty annoying. So with upload care, it is much, much better if, if applicable, depending on your situation. You can see it's actually free where it actually gives you a 10 megabyte max file size and only 10,000 operations per month. So if you're a small to medium business, I don't see you going over this. So it also gives you a maximum, I believe one gigabyte of file storage. And when that becomes full, you can just delete your old photos. So let's quickly jump into the Webflow build. Before we do that, let's take a look at how I did everything. So I just have a form on the right hand side with first name, last name, email, subject. Then I want a button just below subject that says upload files. And in order to do this, let's go ahead and start with Upload Care. We can go in and sign up for a new account, or you can log in if you've done it already. I'm going to hit sign up, and I'm going to go ahead and just sign up with my Google account. So I'm going to go ahead and hit continue with Google. You can also sign up with your email. And once I have signed up, this will take me to the dashboard. You probably have no projects, but we can go ahead and hit create new project right here. And we can go ahead and just give it a name. I'm going to call it Chungus. And I'm just gonna leave it as built-in storage right here. I'll hit create. And once that's done, what you can do is you can go ahead and head over to get started right here. And you can go ahead and hit Webflow right here. Then you can hit this button right here, continue to Webflow guide. This will open up a new tab with clear instructions on how to implement Upload Care. And in Upload Care, there's many different interfaces, but this is the default one, which I'll be walking you through. So firstly, let me just run an overview of what we're gonna do. We're gonna go ahead and get the API key, the public key, to know that this is our Upload Care account. So when all the images are being uploaded, it's going to be sent to your Upload Care account. Below this, we're gonna add a script to the project site settings. That way, it actually affects every single page on your website. And then below this, we're gonna then add a code embed, and we're gonna go ahead and just put some code linking our API key. Then below that is we're gonna add another code embed inside the form element. And that's literally it for, for the basic setup. So let's go ahead and do everything step by step. So the first thing is I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this code right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my project settings by hitting this button right here, site settings, then back in custom code. I'm gonna go ahead and paste this code to the header, hit save. And I'm also just gonna publish my site. I'm gonna go back into my designer view and back to the page. And then I'm gonna go ahead and follow the next instruction, which is adding a code embed to with this specific code. So I'm gonna copy this code right here. I'm gonna go back into Webflow. And in this specific case, it doesn't really matter where you add the code embed, but I'm just gonna add it inside the actual form itself. You can see on the left hand side, we have a contact form block right here with the form and then all the text fields right here. So I'm just gonna add it somewhere here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add command E and type in embed. 
hit code embed and paste in that code. You'll notice it says your public key. So we need to replace this. So heading back into your upload care page, we can go ahead and just open dashboard in a new tab. And in this new tab, we can head over to our specific project, Chungus, and we can get the API key by hitting this tab right here. And we can go ahead and copy the public key by hitting this button right here, going back to Webflow and replacing that right here, and then hitting save and close. The next step is to add a form, which I've already have. And inside the form, we want to add this specific code right here. And this is going to be the upload button. So right now, I want the upload button just to be below subject and above submit. So I'm going to go ahead and add another code embed. And I'm going to go ahead and just paste that code in right now. And in this custom code, I'll give it a class of file-upload. And perhaps I want this to be one RAM margin top and bottom, like so. And maybe I'll put this as 100% width. And maybe I will center the button to the middle by putting flex. And maybe I'll add a background color of, let's say, this white color. And I'll put some padding around it, like so. And maybe I'll round it off and I'll reduce this background color to this. So that is literally it. So once that's done, you can publish your site and everything should be working. And this is just the basic setup, which we'll be covering in this tutorial. So opening in a new tab, you can see we have first name, last name, and then we have the upload file button right here. And let's go ahead and click that button. And right now, this is what the interface looks like. You can change the different interfaces by going into the docs, which I will not be covering. And we can go ahead and just drag in our images of, let's say, the lovely big chungus. And you can see everything is there. We can go ahead and delete one of the images, or we can clear them all, and we hit done. And once that's it, we can go ahead and submit the form after we filled in the required fields. So let's say these ones right here. And we'll hit submit. And now it says, thank you, your submission has been received. Heading back to our email, you can see we have a new form submission. And right here, this is what it looks like. So we have the first name field, last name, email, the subject. You'll notice there's a bit random fields, like field five, six, seven, eight, and nine with empty. So you can actually go ahead and follow the docs. And this tells you how to get rid of those specific fields right here by following the instructions, which we won't be covering. But if you actually click onto my-uploader, my this link right here, this shows all the link that the user has uploaded in a really nice format. One other thing to note is if you head back to your dashboard and you hit files, you can see all your files are here. And you can actually see that this is taking 1.4 megabytes. 300 KB, etc. So when you have too much files, the maximum storage, I believe, is one gigabyte for the free plan. So that's when you can go ahead and you can go ahead and just delete manually one by one or in bulk by clicking this tick button right here, all these buttons right here, and go hit delete. And this will remove it from the database so you won't clog the free story. I hope you guys found this video very, very helpful. My challenge to you is to edit the button to make it your brand color and potentially go into the docs and look at different ways to lay out the interface. You can see right here, this example website has a different interface. And once you hit add, you can see even the success state is now saying three files at 1.7 megabyte. So my challenge for you guys is to figure out how to do this. Uh, if you really want me to show you, leave a comment in this video. And I thank you for watching. I hope you found this video very, very helpful. I think Upload Care just destroys Webflow business plan at the time of recording this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Feel free to check out more of my videos right here, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace be with you.